You know that many wild animals live in forests. All animals, birds and insects that live in their natural habitat or the wild are known as wildlife. India has a large variety of wildlife. In the forests located in the north and the east of India, there are animals such as elephants, rhinos, tigers, deer and so on. Asiatic lions are found in the Gir forest in Gujarat. The famous Royal Bengal tiger is found in the Sundarbans in West Bengal. Animals such as leopards, tigers, bears, wild boars and wild buffaloes live in the deciduous forests. A large variety of fish, reptiles and water birds are found in our rivers and lakes. You know how deforestation has destroyed the natural habitat of animals, right? Human beings also hunt and kill animals for their skin, fur, horn and tusk. In the past, animals were also hunted for pleasure. As a result, many animals have become extinct. There are some animals whose numbers have reduced so much that they might soon disappear from the earth. These animals are called Endangered Animals. There are several species of endangered animals at present as listed by the WWF, which is the World Wildlife Fund, which is the leading organization in wildlife conservation and endangered species. Now to list a few of them, there are tigers, snow leopards, giant pandas and orangutans. Now what measures can be taken? In order to protect your forests and wildlife, the government has declared many areas and forests as protected areas. These are resort forests, national parks and wildlife sanctuaries. Nobody is allowed to cut down any tree or kill any animal in these areas. Now here are some well-known national parks and sanctuaries in India. Corbett National Park in Uttarakhand, Kaziranga National Park in Assam, Gir Forest in Gujarat, Kaval Wildlife Sanctuary in Telangana, Periyar National Park and Tiger Reserve in Kerala. Now children, Let's think why should we protect our forests and wildlife? Should we really protect them? The answer is yes, right? The reasons being Forests and wildlife are our precious natural resources. It sustains a variety of life forms. The loss of forests and wildlife leads to ecological imbalance. Hence, it's important to conserve our forests and wildlife. Now here children, I have a few words for you which come across this video. Extinct means an animal, plant or language that no longer exists. A poacher is a person who illegally catches or kills animals, birds or fish on someone else's property, not on his own. National park and wildlife sanctuaries are marked areas where plants and wildlife are protected by the government. Easy, right? Now, let's hold our hands together to protect our Mother Earth. Let's pledge that we won't destroy even a grass that kills the beauty of our Mother Earth. Let's make Earth a better place to live in for all. Thank you children. See you again.